Hello, I'm Susan Woods, and I have a question for you. What happened to the Black Lives Matter chapters? What happened to the Black Lives Matter chapters? You see, the Black Lives Matter had this pseudo structure where you had the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation at the top of the hierarchy, and below it was 17 chapters. 17 Black Lives Matter chapters across the United States. So what happened to them? When I first started investigating Black Lives Matter back in June of 2020, I started here, which was the homepage. This was the homepage back in June of 2020. And as you can see, the homepage of blacklivesmatter.com there was a place for chapters. You see, chapters was listed as one of the options you could click on because at that time, there were chapters. These were the chapters. Again, this comes from the blacklivesmatter.com website. And when I clicked on chapters, I saw this map of the United States which shows each state that had a Black Lives Matter chapter. From there, I created the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation chapters, and I just listed them because if you're like me, it may take a few minutes to determine which states are which, especially on the uh, Upper East Coast. So I just took the time and I downloaded the information from the website that listed the actual cities and states in which chapters were located. So you have Boston, Massachusetts, Chicago, Illinois, Washington, D.C., Denver, Colorado, Detroit, Michigan, Los Angeles, California, Lansing, Michigan, Long Beach, California, Memphis, Tennessee, Michigan, the entire state, Nashville, Tennessee, New York, New York, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, South Bend, Indiana, Toronto, Canada, Vancouver, Canada, and Waterloo, Canada. All of these at that time in June of 2020 were, and throughout the, I think to the end of November, they were listed as chapters on the blacklivesmatter.com site. I did independent investigations of each one of these chapters and I posted the results on my YouTube channel. The focus of the investigations was around the question, where is the money? That was the question, where is the money? And that was the focus of the investigations. And you can find the answers to that question on my YouTube channel. So again, Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, that's what the GNF stands for, Global Network Foundation, which is supposed to be the headquarters, if you will, at the very top of the hierarchy that all of these 17 chapters reported into, right? Okay, well, what I recently learned, thanks to one of my subscribers who sent me this article, I recently learned that there are problems among the chapters. And this is a statement from the front lines of Black Lives Matter. It is time for accountability. And you can read the full statement if you go to the website, www.blmchapterstatement.com. So what's going on? I'm not going to go to the website like I normally do, which I have done in the two most recent videos I uploaded. I'm not going to go there. I just pulled some information from the website and placed it here. So here's one part of the statement. Statement from the front lines of Black Lives Matter, BLM. For years, there has been inquiry regarding the financial operations of the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation and no acceptable process of either public or internal transparency about the unknown millions of dollars donated to Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, which has certainly increased 
during this time of pandemic and rebellion. Now, this is coming from the collective voices of 10 Black Lives Matter chapter leaders. 10 Black Lives Matter chapter leaders signed this statement. So 10 of them, and I'm sure they represent more. They're saying for years, they've been asking about the financial operations of the headquarters, the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, and they have not received any acceptable process of either public or internal transparency about the unknown millions of dollars donated to BLN, BLMGN. Now, we all know what really sparked a lot of the money was the murder of George Floyd. We all know that because that's when you saw people across not just the United States, but the world marching for justice. So people just literally started throwing money at blacklivesmatter.com. They just go to the website and just make a donation. They didn't know where the money was going, didn't care because they, it eased their conscience. It eased their desire to say, I've done something about this travesty. Corporations just throwing millions of dollars. No one knows where the money was going. They didn't care. They just said, I did something. So now we're seeing that for years, people have been asking the so-called leaders at the top, well, where is the money going? Here's another part of the statement. To the best of our knowledge, most chapters have received little to no, little to no financial support from BLM GNF since the launch in 2013. Black Lives Matter launched in 2013 after the death of Trayvon Martin. They exploited his death. They created, they being the founders, they created this slogan, Black Lives Matter, put a hashtag on it, and it did go viral. It went viral because, again, good timing. Everybody was all upset about the acquittal of George Zimmerman and the death of Trayvon Martin. So it just blew up. That's when it started. But now they're saying since that time, since 2013, almost 10 years, the chapters have received little to no financial support from the headquarters. And then most recently, the so-called executive director, Patrice Coolers of the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, she has taken it upon herself to make some major changes at the top because she is both the sole, S-O-L-E, sole board member and the only staff person in the form of an executive director. So she is a board member, only board member, and she serves as the executive director. So all power is in her hands, all power. She has control of everything. So she made some very serious strategic moves um, most re recently. For example, she started a, a Black Lives Matter political action committee. Nobody had to approve it. She just did it. Then she started this new BLM grassroots. Who knows what that is? And they're saying, the statement is saying, the formation of the new BLM grassroots effectively separated the majority of chapters from BLM GNF without, without, without their consent and interrupted the active process of accountability that was being established by those chapters. So she just decided, I'm going to do something different. Don't need you anymore. Don't care what you've been doing. Not interested. I'm just going to start a whole new thing with no one in a position to say no. There's no, absolutely no governance, no board of directors. It's a one woman show. So now this is a screen, a, 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 a screen print, excuse me, a screen print that I took from the website today. And I'm going to start doing this more often because it changes so much. But this is the BlackLivesMatter.com website as of today, which is February the 17th, 2021. 
And as you can see, if you look at the top where the word chapters was on the first screenshot, you don't see chapters, do you? Do you see the word chapters? No. Chapters not listed there. And I clicked on every one of these links. Every one of the links. I didn't see chapter one time. The map is gone. The list of chapters um, is gone. It's not there. So it's as if there are no chapters. The chapters are gone. So what's going on? What's going on? What are all of these 17 chapters are probably more doing? Because let me tell you, you can create a chapter. If you, you can create a chapter right now. There were no specific requirements to doing a chapter. I think you had to do like a survey or something like that. And then you just start calling yourself Black Lives Matter, whatever city you're in. That's it. That's how loose it was. There was never, ever any kind of structure. You didn't have to go in, in through any type of real eligibility requirements to become a chapter. Black Lives Matter does not have um, copyright protection, trademark protection, none of that. So you can just do whatever you want. And that was the problem. That's the problem that I spoke about so many times in prior videos. That's the problem. So now she, Patrice Kula, she just decided, okay, I'm not going to have any chapters. Just, okay, they're gone. You get this Black Lives Matter um, chapter statement. You're coming, you're putting me on blast. So I'm just going to remove you from Black Lives Matter, period. Chaos. Chaos is the word for Black Lives Matter right now. So look at this image. This was last year. This was when. The pandemic was just emerging. Some people had on masks. Most did not. But it's multicultural. Different genders, different races, different ethnicities, different nationalities, all marching under one cause. Black Lives Matter. Worldwide. This was an opportunity. This was an opportunity. The world saw this. And these people who risk their lives, who are in the hot sun, who are marching and screaming and toting signs and doing all of this stuff, they are the ones who generated the money. They are the ones who called attention to Black Lives Matter. They were out on the front lines. They were marching. They were making demands. So whatever has happened as a result of this, of these protests, you can credit the people. Don't credit Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation, especially not the leadership, lack of. They didn't do anything. These people brought attention, worldwide attention to the cause. And in response to that, people gave money. Out of guilt, out of compassion, out of I have to do something. I don't know, what, because that's how I got involved. That's how I started investigating. I went to the site to give money myself. I was like, I need to do something. I'm not going to march, so I'm just going to give some money. And that's when I started investigating because I wasn't satisfied with the money trail. I couldn't follow the money. So I wanted to be sure my money went to the black communities that I wanted to support. And that's how my investigation started. Lack of leadership, lack of structure, and lack of transparency equals failure. And Black Lives Matter is a failure. And we haven't seen anything yet. Because if you think I'm asking where is the money, can you imagine what these corporations are going to be asking? Can you imagine what philanthropists are going to be asking? Can you imagine what celebrities like Ringo Starr of the Beatles he hosted his 80th birthday online and asked people to contribute to Black Lives Matter instead of giving money to him. What is he going to ask about? We haven't seen anything yet. You just wait. You just wait until people start asking, where is the money?
Thank you.